It is official. Plans for a world-class casino and resort at Harbor Park in Norfolk are moving forward. Yeah, city leaders voted to give the green light on the next step of the proposed project with the Pamunkey Indian Tribe following a divided public hearing on the issue. Today on your site's Gina Revelo joins us live in Norfolk. And Gina, what are people saying? Well, Tom and Anita, as you mentioned, it was very divided. That public hearing lasted around an hour and a half, and half of the people who spoke said they want to see the casino happen. They believe it's a good opportunity for the city, but the other half, it's safe to say they're unhappy with how that vote turned out tonight. Now, the vote means the city will tentatively transfer land to the Punky Indian tribe over at the waterfront to build the casino. Councilwoman Andrea McLennan was the lone member to vote no, and she even got a standing ovation by several people in the crowd. She says she's just Disappointed and that the city leaders have let citizens down by making this decision. She wanted to wait till after the General Assembly voted on this next year. Now, several of the speakers at the podium tonight were split in their opinions. A lot of people said they think the casino is great and they say that there is no project that comes without risk. There were some people who said they were a little bit skeptical and they don't want to oppose the casino, but they had concerns about where the revenue from the project would be going. Many said that they wanted it to go towards schools, raises for police officers, and flooding improvements to name a few to name a few. But several people pleaded with city leaders to delay this vote, saying council was rushing into this and they wanted more information about the project. Two weeks ago, the city unveiled the terms of the deal, and if this project becomes reality, the casino could potentially have 3,500 to 4,500 slots, 500 hotel rooms, restaurants, a spa, an entertainment venue, and indoor and outdoor pools. The tribe would be responsible for all of the costs of the project, including infrastructure, utility improvements, and flood mitigation. Now, city leaders were reminding the public tonight that if the Pamunkey Indian tribe does not do as promised, that there are conditions in place that would allow the city to take action. And now that that transfer of land has been approved, the tribe will be submitting their application to the Department of the Interior to get approved. And again, if this application is approved, the Department of the Interior or by the Department of the Interior, construction could begin in 2021. Reporting live in Norfolk, Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side. Big